Hey everybody, this is Elliot with Modern Music Studio. Today we're going to be doing a walkthrough on how to program the Amen Breakbeat. It's a pretty widely sampled beat. It's used by people like Tupac, Nas, Outkast. It's the main beat out of Straight Out of Compton by N.W.A. and Big Papa by Notorious B.I.G. So let's get into it. Right now, I pretty much just have the beat pulled up in Ableton so that we can kind of just reference it as we go through our MIDI and recreate it. Um, if you're listening to the beat just as is, it's pretty quick. But say you're trying to do this with other beats as well and not just this tutorial, I recommend coming up here and slowing the tempo down just a little bit so it's a little easier to kind of see what's happening. So I'm going to be working with around 70, 73 BPM. Just slow the beat down. And it's a little easier to work with. You can hear things a little, a little better. So also I have it split in two different um, tracks right now. So the first one, these three bars right here is just a loop. It's kind of playing the exact same thing the whole time, except for this uh, last quarter bar right here. And then the fourth bar, it's um, just a little bit different. So we'll get into the fourth bar later. So start with create a MIDI track. I already have one made here and you're gonna wanna throw in a drum rack. Just come over here to your drums and go to drum rack and you can just drag and drop. And we'll create a drum rack. Um, for this beat, you really only need five different um, instruments. So we got a kick drum, we have a snare, I have an S snare for soft snare, and then an H snare for hard snare, and then we have a ride, as well as a crash. And those are really the only five samples you're gonna need to recreate this beat, and we'll just kinda dive into it. So create a MIDI track. Um, I'm just gonna start with these first three bars right here. Um, to do that, just highlight the whole um, length that you're trying to do, and then hit Shift-Command-M if you're on a Mac. And it's just going to bring up your piano roll right away, or your drum rack. So start with, let's just use a, we're going to put a ride on every um, 16th note, or 8th note actually. And you can just duplicate that across the entire three bars. So now all you should have is... Pretty straightforward. So now let's listen to the beat and just see what else we can do here. And I think let's start off with the kick drum and see where we can put it. So to me it's sounding like we got a kick here and here, so the first two eighth notes. And then it's sounding like we have a double kick somewhere over here, like a sixteenth um, note rhythm on the kick over here. Let's listen again. It's actually right here, so you're just going to go two kicks right there. So it's all the same, so you can just duplicate it up to here until that last uh, half bar. It looks like we just have a kick right there. Let's replay it just to make sure. Yeah. All right, now let's go into our snare. I'm gonna start with this hard snare right here, um, just cause it's a little more easy to place it, just to start with. Um, just upon listening listening back, it just sounds like it's on every uh, other quarter note. This last one is wrong, so let's put it back in the right spot. It's on the upbeat of the last measure. And let's just hear back uh, without the beat playing in the background. Sounding pretty good. So now we have to go in and let's listen to it um, and throw in our softer snares, kind of those ghost notes that the drummer is using. Sounds like there's two right here. Let's hear that. One right there. 
And I think we can just repeat that, but let's double check just to listen. And then it actually does the same thing there, but we're not using this last ghost note. So now it sounds like we have that first, uh, the first three measures pretty much done here. And we'll listen back really quick just to make sure. And I'd say it sounds pretty good. And we'll keep rocking. So now let's try and get this last measure down. So same thing, just insert a MIDI track, Shift Command M. I'm just doing this full full bar here and going right away. Make sure you're in 16th notes for your grid. It's just going to make things a little easier. So then we're going to go a ride on every eighth note. Perfect. And let's bring the beat back in. So right away, sounds like there's a soft snare right here, hard snare here, and the hard snare over there, as well as the crash is right there as well, on top of the kick that's hitting. Cool, now let's finish off these kicks down at the bottom. There's a double hit there. And I think that's all there is to it. Let's hear the whole beat through. I just want to make sure this last bit's done right. It sounds pretty pretty correct to me. So there you go. That's how you program the Amen drum break. If you're trying to put it in any of your hip hop or any other songs that you're kind of working with, um, do make sure you kind of speed the tempo back up so it's back up to speed. And there you go. If you're trying to get really into it, maybe go in and um, mess with the velocity of each one of your drums, kind of make it sound a little more human, like a real drummer is playing it. Because obviously no drummer can play every note at the exact same volume every time. And yeah, it should kind of bring it up to sounding a little more human and let's give it a listen again. And there you go. Thanks for watching.